So it's all done. I literally love it so much. Like she was doing it and I was thinking, like I wasn't I wasn't at all nervous. I thought I was gonna be so nervous. It was only walking into the hairdressers, I literally turned to my friends Sasha and Becky who were with me. I was like, guys, I'm really scared now. But then as soon as I got in there, I sat down and stuff and they started putting my hair into like a million ponytails, which you'll see in the video. Literally, I was just so excited, like I couldn't stop smiling. Um, but I just wanted to firstly thank everyone who don donated, like, I was, I'm so overwhelmed about the amount of money that I've raised because um, my goal was £200 and so far I've actually just made over £1,000 which is crazy, like honestly beyond anything I could have ever wished for so thank you so much. But also I just wanted to speak a bit about the charities that the money is going to, well the charity the money is going to and then also the charity that my hair is being donated to. I'll start with the charity that my hair is going to which is called the Little Princess Trust and my hair is here in a little bag as you can see. So that's waiting to be sent so I need to go to the post office tomorrow and send that and 125 grams of hair because I've got very thick hair um, so this charity creates wigs for children with cancer and the reason I wanted to do that was because my mum I think it was four years ago now um, she had radiotherapy and from that obviously a lot of her hair fell out and I saw the way it affected her and she had a wig made for her obviously not by little princess trust because they're only for children um but by another charity and i saw the way that it just it gave her a lot more confidence in herself because i think it's very different with me shaving all my hair off because that was my choice it wasn't her choice to lose her hair and i think that's a, a big confidence issue that a lot of people have when they lose their hair one of my friends has actually had a wig made by the Little Princess Trust, which I didn't know about until today when she messaged me about it. And that just made all of this so much more special and so much more real. They're an amazing, amazing charity. And I'm so happy that I was able to donate my hair to them because that can literally change, absolutely change even just one part of someone's life who's going through the most horrific thing and it is just like small things like that that make such a big difference and people don't realize how big of a difference they make um but yeah and then the charity which the money that i've amazingly raised thank you to like you guys who have donated um that is going to the mental health hospitals in southwest london through the nhs um which i wanted to do because as a lot of people know in my past i have suffered with some mental health issues and that's been for the past four or so years i've had a lot of therapy at springfield hospital which is an incredible mental health hospital literally really local to me and they are incredible and ever since I ever went there I've always said I've always wanted to give something back to them and so I just thought well why not do this why not do my fundraiser for this because I have obviously had a massive think about which charity I was going to do my fundraising for because it's a massive thing and I wanted although this was mainly for my mum that was I that's why I chose to donate the hair to Little Princess Trust because then that's something that I've done for her. But then I also wanted to do something for me because it is a big change and I think you I wanted to do something for me as well as for her. Um, and so that's why I chose the NHS mental health hospitals in Southwest London. Um because they're honestly incredible, absolutely amazing. I've had 
three different types of therapy there. I'm not gonna go into that or whatever, but every single one, I only, I mean, of course there's bad elements that come with it, like you're not gonna be there for a nice reason anyway, so there's always going to be negative aspects, but the when I think back to those past times where, because <clears throat> I had both individual and group therapy for a lot of these things, I don't think back to, oh god that was awful, blah, like all of that stuff, I just think the first thing that comes into my head is the friends I made there, they're like funny moments, like for one of my therapy group therapies, I remember this one girl who I became really good friends with, and we would literally just sit there in therapy and like just look at each other and like try to not like try our hardest to contain our laughter because I mean those situations are a little bit awkward sometimes and so we just sit there and just like smile at each other and stuff and it's things like that that the therapists were just so incredible at making what is a hard situation to be a lot easier and I'm so grateful for that because it can be really hard, it is really hard. And yeah, so I really wanted to give back to them after everything they've given to me and the amount of money of NHS that I've spent on my therapy. Um, and so yeah, I just want to say again how grateful I am to everyone who's donated because it makes such a big difference. Because literally every little tiny, tiny, tiny bit, whether it's literally one P, or like 50 pounds, every, every single thing makes a difference. And I literally, I cannot stress that enough. Um, so yes, thank you so much. And also, <coughs> thank you to my best friends, Becca and Sasha, who came with me to the hairdressers and filmed some little pieces while I was having it done, took lots of photos and also, they also cut my hair off, including my mum as well, which you'll see. Um, and thank you to Vicky, who was my hairdresser. She's amazing, I love her. Um, and, because I had it done at Jacinta O'Neill's hair, um, hair salon, which is amazing, absolutely love Jacinta. Have I've had my hair cut there since, before she opened the salon, so I was, I was three. So, fair old time, um, but yeah. I just want to say thank you to everyone, and yeah, me and my little bald head say bye. <laughs> bye. Preview. Set, ready? Except I did. When did you work in hairdressers? Um, well, I 
vibrations getting a tattoo. Yeah. That's so strange. But less painful. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> 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 
So what do you think of it? Lovely. No. <laughs> Just punch him in the face. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.